What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? good with y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man today finally day man i'm gonna show y'all the engine and all of that and uh we're just gonna go over that man go over the rundown the plans for it or whatever but i finally read all the comments i read or at least a majority of them i didn't see nobody but one person get it right and at the very last i'm talking about one of the old one of the uh, last comments. Only one person guessed right what it was. Everybody, people that guessed the small block was right. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a fun fact to me. I am not a fan of Oldsmobile Motors. I would never buy a car with an Oldsmobile motor. I only had one in my whole life. Had a Cutlass with an Oldsmobile motor. I'm just not a fan of them. So, if y'all ever see a car, and next time I do this and say guess the engine, it would never be an Oldsmobile motor. Never. I'm serious. So, everybody said Oldsmobile, wrong. Everybody that said it's stock, wrong. <laughs> the pipes throw you off. It's quiet. It's very, 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 very quiet. I'm telling you, the mufflers are huge on here. I'm going to put some different ones on. I'm going to put them boilers on here to help it breathe better. But I see why they did it. They want to keep it quiet. And it do. It's real mellow. Uh, the cam not hitting real hard because I'm... If I remember right, it's a wider load separation cam. And if you if I just said that, most people ought to know, have an idea of what it is now, if it got a wide load separation. So, I got the hood cracked. Like I said, I'm gonna show y'all what it is. I was gonna get out here and turn some wrench because it actually Thanksgiving Day. The fam ain't made it over yet. The sun popped out. I'm gonna change the valve cover gasket, but I ain't gonna fool with it. And I gotta tell y'all what parts I done ordered too, cause I done went in, man. I've been going in the last two days. Moment of truth. Drum roll. Boom. That's what it is. Nobody guessed it but one person. But it's a supercharged small block. Supercharged small block. I already got the smallest pulley on it that you can put on it. But what I like about it, you can't hear it from the outside. You can't hear it when it's idling. From the inside, you can hear a small little whistle. You can hear a small whistle. The camera probably couldn't pick it up, obviously. But this thing don't this thing don't holler until you get on it. Most of y'all probably know about these, man. This is a 142, I think. I don't think it's a 144. It's a 142. Um, but in my first time owning one of these. Now, are these blowers five? Nah, they really ain't. <laughs> they don't make no boost, man. They make five to seven pounds of boost. It pro this will probably make seven because it got the smaller pulley uh, on it. It got the two and a half inch on it. But it don't haul until you get on it. Fun fun to drive on the street and all that, though. But I got plans for it. I got plans for it. Uh, it run great. I'm not going to go too radical with this one because I want a car for every, 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 not class, but every time zone, basically. This car right here. This car going in the fires off top. It, it makes the power to do that. Power versus weight. And it damn sure make the torque. So, it just dial, just dialing in to do it. All my cars going to be true street car. AC car right here. Y'all see this car. Everything new, man. Everything new. The car just ain't been driven. Look at the headers. The headers tell you the story. The headers ain't even turned. The car ain't been driven, man. They didn't drive the car. Like... They just really didn't dry the car. So it got big big radiator in it. Why it helps stay so cool too. All that AC stuff over there new. As you can see. Um they just took the condense out. That's the only thing they took the condense out because I wanted more air to flow through to the engine. 
Uh, so I'm gonna buy a condenser, put the condenser back in. We're gonna have another AC hot rod. Uh, it's an elder brock on it. I'm probably gonna tie it, man, to a quick fuel blow through or something. That's that's been set up for a blow as a blow through. It worked great, but I'm just, hey man, I'm not a fan of elder brock. It's coming off of there. I'm gonna tie in the distributor to the MSD uh, Pro Billet. So we're going Pro Billet on the distributor. I already got superconductor wires on it. Uh, it. It's just a great running engine, man. I just want to have fun. I, that kind of grabbed my grabbed my uh, attention too, cause I never owned a supercharged uh, vehicle, except <laughs> except my Buick Park Avenue it was V6, and I played around with that, but I never owned one of these. So we're gonna go in one of these or uh, see what we can do. Now, what do wake these up is nitrous. Nitrous wake these up. I knew a car. With one of these small block gas running 550s, no lie, G body. I knew a car that had the exact blower with some gas on it, 550s, driving them around. Bigger engine, but it was small block. So you can make them work. They just, I mean, I seen cars do, do good with them, but they fun for the street. They're what this is, man. A nice, beautiful, um, catch your eye light. I got compliments first day I bought it compliments man as soon as i pulled up at the gas station so it's just a nice fun street car that's what it is but we're gonna have one for every time zone that's why i said this one probably gonna be where well, right now it's, it's the slowest uh after i get finished just top end stuff bolt on stuff no need to go in the bottom end it's not needed but just top end stuff i might change i don't even know what the head is i can't remember hit the guy can't remember but we're gonna take the heads the valve covers got to come off anyway because uh it got valve cover, get, need valve cover gaskets on. That's the only leak this car has. It's valve cover gaskets. I bought those yesterday. Uh, it needs a rear end. And the car, the car is quick. Uh, it's a supercharged car. It's quick. It's, it's a whole lot of torque. I can say that. It's a lot of torque. And that's what I like. Torque, torque uh, gets you moving. Torque is what moves a car. That's why the Camaro is so dangerous. The, the Camaro makes 880 foot pounds of torque. I mean 860, 868 foot pounds of torque out this car right here, John Jones. So it's dangerous. I mean, it's a lot of cars out there ain't making that kind of torque, especially not small block. But it make all that torque. Then the horsepower take over with the torque drop off. That's what happened. So this car here make a lot of torque. That's what you want torque to get out the hole. And it ain't make it don't make all the power in the world. It probably make 300 some. Pretty sure it probably don't make but 300 some horsepower. And people probably saying three hundred dollars supercharged. They they really not all that serious for real. Not without they need some nitrous. <laughs> so I'm still gonna put on the dyno. We're gonna see what it make. Take it to the track. It's probably an eight second car. Eight second eighth of mile car. Pretty sure what this probably gonna be. Y'all just can't just look at the supercharged and think it's bad. But it's a quick car. You can drive out of state, anywhere, everywhere. Very dependable. Uh, when you start getting deeper lower than normal like, i can drive this anywhere too john jones but it's a little more radical than this with the gearing and stuff i'm gonna tell y'all the gear i went with because i went ahead and i got a carrier in there but i went ahead and bought all new everything so that carrier in there that detroit locker for sale somebody wanted it's a great carrier though but i just bought everything new so i had receipts and all that stuff documentation for tax purposes i can write it off so somebody if you want that carrier and gear it's for sale but like i said dolo i can't i ain't speaking on dolo because people just gonna be shocked how dolo coming but dolo gonna be fast it's gonna be fast it's gonna be right behind john jones then i don't know how fast this car gonna end up being i don't know how fast the cut is gonna end up being after i get finished doing stuff i'm do i'm probably gonna do a head swap aluminum heads which make me think, man, I wish I would have kept them all uh, IK200s now, man. Been boom, perfect, right here. Been perfect, but we still got roller rockers and all of that. Cause I ain't gonna need this stuff for Dolo. Cause uh, I got everything new. I redid everything. I ain't telling you if it's small block or big block, but I did everything new. I don't need, even though that stuff new, I just did it over again. I don't need uh. I don't need the roller rockers, none of that. So I got a lot of small block parts. Boom. So the distributor, the Pro Billet distributor, gonna go in here. Um, the rocker arms, cause I got one six ratio rocker arms. I'm pretty sure these one fives on here. Um, we're gonna get some heads. 
Either I'm going to run with the Broadax uh, IK200, so I'm going to try some Pro Max heads out. I never tried them out. <clears throat> we might see what the Pro Max in like. So, we're going to change aluminum heads. A top end bill. Aluminum heads. Uh, probably change the camshaft later down the line. Or uh, um, blower cam with a little more lift. Like I said, it's got a wide load separation angle, which is why it's so mellow. Just like this, people think this car, if this car had mufflers on it, it'll sound just like this. It'll sound even more mellow. It's a regular idle, but it has some lift to it. This car, John Jones does have a camshaft in it. It's not a stock camshaft. It's been changed out. And it's a 6.0. It's not a 5.7, so it's not a stock 6.0 cam in here. And uh, John Jones, just wider load separation angle. It runs real mellow. mellow. So uh, yeah, then transmission. Okay, I think I said it. Uh, I think I said it in the last vlog. I can't remember, but I bought a transmission already. I bought a TH350, another one. I didn't want to take this one out and go take this uh, DJ car. Then the car be down already. I can at least be driving the car around. So I bought another TH350. So now I got three, four transmissions all together. We got the 400 and Dolo. I got the 700 with a manual valve body getting done at Showtime right now. We got a 350 right here in the cutlass, and then I just bought another 350 core, which I'm going to take the uh, over the Showtime transmission rebuild and get it done for the cutlass. This cutlass transmission been built, but it ain't no shift kit or nothing. It's just a regular, uh, better in stepped up internal rebuild, but it shift good. It shift great, but a Showtime going to be better. We're going to we're gonna get some speed right there, too. Then the rear end. Like I said, these people did everything except the rear end. Well, it got a limited slip or uh, positive carrier, but I think it's a old GM unit, the one with the little S clip in it. You know they slip, so it might as well be one type, but it does not have a gear for it. They want to drive it up and down the highway, which is cool. And it, like I said, it feels good, especially on the top end. On the highway, it'll fly. It'll fly on the highway. You got a supercharger. It'll, it'll just it'll run out of sight. <laughs> it will do that. But, um... I already ordered everything for the rear end gonna be new. Literally, we're gonna clean the rear end out, everything new. I got Moser axles coming, stepped up from 26 to 28 spline. They'll be in tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to Summit. I gotta go pick up my carrier. I got I bought a um, Eaton, I bought an Eaton new carrier, Posi unit, 28 spline. So we got that going in. I got uh, the all Richmond setup kit new. Barons, crest sleeve, all this stuff you need. And we got a Richmond gear 342 for right now since it's on these smaller tires. So it's going to have a 342 rear end in it for right now. Still can go up the highway. Still that good lunch. I had a 342 before. We put one in my wife cut this way back. Y'all know if you've been following a long time, two in the move, what we call that car, man. I did a lot of, a lot of racing in Mexico with that car, even though it was, but <clears throat> 342, good gear. Still go anywhere you want to go, so I'm going to show y'all what RPMs be hitting like with a 342. We got a 430 Dolo, 410 meets with overdrive, 355 right here on John Jones. We're going to have a 342 right here. Then wifey car is going to be getting a 323 gear. So y'all going to get to see a variety of how these gears work and where the RPMs at on the highway with uh, three speeds. And then, you know, meets the only thing overdrive right now. So that's what I've been ordered. So tomorrow is a lot of parts coming. We got high and low beam LEDs coming. I'm going to post the links to, to all this stuff in the description you want it. We got high and low beam LEDs coming. Uh, we got another car cover coming for wife car. We got uh, Pisa carrier coming. New axles. New gear. New install kit. Uh, transmission. Got to go take it at showtime. So this, I'm rolling fast, man. I ain't playing. I'm rolling fast, man. I just, the bag has been spent, <laughs> rolling fast. I'm undecided on if I want to make this a flow shifter car. Like I said, I'm not going radical on this car, man. So if people in the comments, you can cut that out. I am not going extreme on this car. It's too nice of a car, man. It really is. You have to see it in person. My next car meet, some way I'm going to have this out there. I'm going to try to have all of them. By my next car meet, everything will be running, literally. Everything will be running. Dolo going to have the new engine. Probably be mounted up on the new shoes. Meat's gonna have an engine. Wifey car got the engine already. I'm some kind of way I'm gonna get all the stuff out there. We're gonna bring all, all five of them. So 
that's the plan, man. I'm gonna roll on this. I done bought everything I want to buy for it. Only thing we're gonna change is down the line, I'm gonna get a carburetor. I'm gonna change to get a blow through, a uh, uh, um, 4150 style blow through. Uh, we're gonna get possibly change the heads and possibly the cam. We're gonna do one upgrade at a time and take it to the dyno each time so you can see real world what type of changes it makes. So before anything get done, it's going to the dyno right now like it is. We'll see how much power we make. Then I add the roller rockers. See how much power we make. Then we'll change the card. See how much power we make. Then the heads get into the bigger stuff. See how much power that make. And then we'll add a cam uh, later down the line. Then I'm uh, I'm underside on the floor shifter or whatever. I like how it looks simple. But the car is so clean. I don't care if it don't go the fastest in the world. So it was just something to um, have fun with. You know, be able to ride around. Content for the channel. And that's what it is. So, yep, showing y'all the engine. Nobody guessed it right. I like it because it's quiet. Oh, we changed the mufflers too. We already got those, so we're going to do that. And uh, it was nice. I mean, it was painted. I probably, that still looked good right there. It's a flat, more more flat black, not glossy. But I probably go back and uh, paint up on the hill. I'm going to restore it. I'm going to do, uh, get on the hood done, man. The engine probably get pulled uh, down the line just to paint the engine bay because the car is so nice. The engine bay need to match too. So down the line, we'll probably do that. But that's what it is, man. Just talking video. I promise y'all I'm going to show y'all. That's what it is. So uh, it's Thanksgiving today. So after Thanksgiving, stuff going to roll. Uh, we're going to get the rear end done. I'm real I'm real anxious to do that because I want to see what it's going to feel like with the with the gear behind it. But my stuff not going to be in until Saturday. I'm going to get the carry tomorrow. The rear the, uh the ring and pinion and the install kit coming Saturday though. So maybe Sunday I might try to get it in there. And then we're gonna see what it do. We're gonna take it to the track. Uh I'm going to buy some back wheels for it and some slicks. Or some radials I should say. I'm gonna buy some back wheels and radials for it. And uh yeah. That's it. So a lot of plans, man, a lot of videos coming. A lot of plans, a lot of videos. Yep, I appreciate everybody that supported. Um, appreciate everybody that happy for me and all of that. So, yep, we got another one to the fleet. Uh, Dolo coming back. We finna finish Dolo up. Uh, the lineup, all the stuff getting done for the. Uh, I'm working on four whips at a time, man. I'm working on four, but this time it ain't no budget stuff. That's why everything just boom falling in line like it should. Budget stuff over with. So. Uh, and people wonder. I took ten out. I did not. I did not pay ten racks for this car. It's a great deal. But um, got all this stuff bought for this car. We about to probably change the ECU on John Jones. We got a new turbo for John Jones and the, the big Griffin radiator. We're gonna stand that up. Uh, wifey car. <laughs> I'm gonna get that transmission line on tomorrow when it back sunny. And I'm going to be back out here. I'm just going to drop the tail of the transmission and then tighten that line on. Finish wife it call up tomorrow. Uh, Dolo, I'm just waiting. Uh, I just can't speak on Dolo. It's, it's coming, though. Dolo going to be done behind the scenes. I'm just going to tell you all the truth. Dolo going to be done behind the scenes. I'm going to film everything, but the videos will be released way later. But when y'all see it, whenever I put it, put it up on the thumbnail, just know it got oil pressure. So next time y'all see this thing on the thumbnail, it got oil pressure. It's going to have oil pressure. So, and uh, meats, I'm just going to buy another crate engine for meats. I might buy that this month. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, that's it, man. I can't do a lot of talking. That's why it's just talking video family. finna come over in a minute. Hope y'all enjoyed y'all Thanksgiving, man. I'm enjoying mine already. Appreciate everybody. Catch y'all later. I'm out.